One of the EU's top courts says Carles Puigdemont and two other Catalan pro-independence MEPs can have their parliamentary immunity taken away. The ruling by the General Court of the EU on Wednesday opens up the way for Spain to reactivate an extradition request for the three lawmakers. In 2017, Puigdemont, Tony Comin and Clara Ponsati fled to Belgium after the illegal independence referendum in Catalonia. Puigdemont has already announced that they will appeal the judgment. I think it's been accredited, I insist, that it's been pursued for reasons strictly political. And until now, we've thought, and from there comes part of our strategy, and it will continue to be so, that this in Europe didn't have any life. We believed it, and we believe it. And I, at least, yes. As a European, Esta es mi convicción y por tanto no voy a dejar de insistir en esa vía. No voy a dejar de hacer valer mis derechos. In 2021, the European Parliament waived the immunity of the three MEPs, but they later challenged this decision. Now the EU's General Court has dismissed this appeal. The MEP who chaired the Legal Affairs Committee where the immunity was initially revoked says the pressure the three Catalan politicians have suffered is unfair. Hemos sufrido intoxicaciones, presiones, amenazas, una presión sin precedentes en la historia de esta casa en un procedimiento de suplicatorio. Aun con todo, la sentencia confirma lo que ya sabíamos y lo que yo vengo defendiendo desde hace tres años, que el proceso de levantamiento de inmunidad del Parlamento ha sido impecable y realizado con todas las garantías. The Spanish government says it's satisfied with the ruling, but it remains to be seen whether it will reactivate the European arrest warrant and also how the Belgian justice system will respond. In the meantime, the situation in Spain has changed. In January 2023, the penal code was reformed with the aim of lowering tensions with pro-independence supporters. This means that they would no longer be tried for sedition, but instead for embezzlement and disobedience, likely meaning lower sentences.